Quickview version 9 stable has now been released. This brings into stable the features launched in version 901 and 902 beta. And as a reminder of the features that are now in Quickview version 9 stable, if we take a look at my Quickview screen here, uh, one of the features is group lines. It allows me to go to my action menu on the home screen, select a group of fixtures, turn on lines, and it now draws lines to the fixtures within that group. That's great uh, for the home screen to allow you to see physically and visually the fixtures inside a group, but also you could use it for things like focus positions. You could use it to have a group uh, where the position or person might be on your stage, move the fixtures around so you can see these lights pointing to this direction here. Nice visual way of identifying what lights are doing or fixtures are doing inside your rig. We also introduced in version nine, the unused Q store. So there's an unused stacks window here, which allows me to now drag and drop Q stacks and Qs from my playbacks into this store here. Great for houses of worship where you can program a, a song as a cue stack and then you can drag and drop it onto your faders as and when it's needed with now a central store. And of course, legending and labeling all comes through as well. You can also drag and drop items from your cue faders and the execute window into this window as well. Of course, on your cue faders, uh, they can only be single cue only and the same with the execute window. So single cues you can drag and drop in the same way from your unused queue store. Version 9 also brings in multi-emitter color picker support. So now if I take uh, some fixtures here, for example, some E910 FCs, uh, these fixtures have got more than just RGB emitters, so red, green, blue, amber, lime type color mixing. And inside uh, my color window now, so if I was to go color over here, the color picker will use all emitters of those fixtures now. That's the all new all emitters mode. And finally, enhanced RDM support. If I start a new show on my console here, new show. Uh, QuickQ has always had the RDM auto patch button where it can automatically detect and patch fixtures. So I've got two Chauvet Ovation E910 FC fixtures here. You can see as I've done the auto patch, it detects and patched those. QuickQ support that has always supported this. Uh, but now we have the white arrow, which shows you in your patch window nice and visually the fixtures in your patch that it can detect via RDM. You can do a long press on the white arrow to do a detect and it will flash that fixture to show you it's you know, the one you're selecting, the one it's detecting. You can do things now like setting the mode. So again, a long press uh, on the mode will bring up the mode dialog where you can choose a different mode for the fixture and you can even choose to apply that to all fixtures of the same type. So if you've got multiple of the same fixture, multiple E910 FCs in the rig, maybe 10 of them, you can set the mode all together of those fixtures. And the same with DMX address, a long press on the DMX address column. You can now change the DMX address, changes it in the patch window, but you have the option now to set the address using RDM as well. So it would actually physically readdress that fixture via RDM. So the, those are some of the key fixture highlight, uh, feature highlights in version nine. Version 9 is now available to download from the Camsys website.